What happens when Hollywood's brightest stars trade luxury for life behind bars? These actors, known for captivating audiences on screen, found themselves facing harsh consequences in the real world. From high-profile scandals to personal missteps, their stories reveal a side of fame few expect. Get ready to explore the shocking moments that took these celebrities from the spotlight to the prison yard. Join us as we dive into the gripping tales of actors who have done real time in prison. Can I free my hands, please? It's okay. Thank you, sir. It was 1988 when Mark Wahlberg, just 16 years old, found himself in the middle of an ugly, violent altercation. He attacked two Vietnamese men in what was deemed a racially motivated assault, leaving one man permanently blind in one eye. Wahlberg's rise to fame would come years later, but back then he was a troubled teen caught up in a dangerous lifestyle. His crime was brutal, and though he served just 45 days in prison, it would leave a lasting stain on his early years. I'm an honor at sacrifice by grilling into some tasty barbecue. What I'm not gonna do is torture it just to prove I can't hit anything further away than my own pecker. So you didn't make the dress list. There are greater tragedies in the world. Long before Charles S. Dutton became a respected actor, he served seven years in prison for manslaughter. In 1967, a street fight turned deadly, and Dutton found himself at just 17, convicted of killing a man. The sentence was harsh, and prison became his reality for nearly a decade. But it was behind bars where his life took an unexpected turn. Dutton found solace in reading, and his discovery of a passion for acting helped pave the way for his future success. Oh yeah, I've been wanting to do this ever since you moved. No, I don't think you want to find one of these loved ones of yours in one of those garbage cans you pick. <laughs> My granddaughter, you common juvenile delinquents. It was nice talking to you all. In 2010, Amy Locaine made a devastating choice that changed countless lives forever. After a night of drinking, she got behind the wheel and crashed into the car of Helene and Fred Seaman in Montgomery, New Jersey. The impact killed 60-year-old Helene Seaman instantly and severely injured her husband, Fred. This wasn't just a DUI, it was a catastrophic loss. Locaine, who was once known for her role in Melrose Place, was sentenced to eight years in prison for vehicular homicide. When I think back to that tragic night, it's heart-wrenching to realize how one reckless decision shattered the Seaman family. Though she served her sentence, the pain of that night still echoes. I'm 35. <laughs> this is getting good. I'm gonna grab a beer. No punches till I get back. The year was 2003, 
and Danny Masterson, known for his role on That 70s Show, was at the height of his career. But beneath the surface, a far darker story was unfolding. In 2023, he was convicted of raping two women, crimes that took place during that period of his life. His actions were monstrous, and the justice system responded with a harsh sentence, 30 years to life. I can't shake the horror of what those women endured and how someone so beloved on screen could do something so despicable behind closed doors. It's a reminder that fame can hide the darkest secrets. It's got a fiberglass air-cooled engine and it runs on water. <laughs> to film things that are going on, to have, it's just, I'm just not used to it in a different light than I have before. Lindsay Lohan's downfall in 2007 felt like the climax of a long, tragic story that had been unfolding for years. Once the golden girl of Hollywood, she had everything, fame, fortune, and immense talent. But her struggles with addiction and reckless behavior dragged her down a dark path. It wasn't just a one-time incident. She had been in and out of courtrooms for multiple DUI arrests, drug possession, theft, and probation violations. In 2007, after being caught driving under the influence and repeatedly violating her probation terms, she was sentenced to 90 days in jail, but served just 14 due to overcrowding. Watching her spiral, I couldn't help but wonder if she'd ever get her life back on track. That short stint in jail may have been brief, but it served as yet another wake-up call for someone who seemed to be losing everything she'd once worked so hard for. Oh, I gotta call you back. I think I got another trick-or-treater. A Texas Instruments home computer, a Nikon camera, an RCA 19-inch color TV. O.J. Simpson's fall from grace hit rock bottom in 2008 when he was sentenced to 33 years in prison for armed robbery and kidnapping. The crime wasn't born of desperation or survival. It was a bizarre attempt to reclaim sports memorabilia that Simpson claimed rightfully belonged to him. Bursting into a Las Vegas hotel room with a group of armed men, Simpson's actions were reckless and dangerous, and it ultimately led to his downfall. He would go on to serve nine years behind bars, a far cry from his once glorious days as a football legend and actor. I remember thinking at the time, how could someone who had once been adored by millions, who seemed to have it all, sink this low? The shadow of his infamous 1995 murder trial where he was acquitted of killing his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, never fully left him. It haunted his every step. And while this crime, armed robbery, was far from the grisly events of the past, it cemented O.J.'s tragic and controversial legacy. Even after his release in 2017, the damage to his reputation was irreversible, leaving behind a legacy not of athletic greatness, but of scandal and disgrace. Hiya, buddy. Hey, Doc says I should be on my bean and as good as new in a week.
gonna have to get you some funani. <laughs> <laughs> Today's forecast: dark and cloudy, and chance of drive-by. Shelley Malil, a name some might recognize from the 40-year-old virgin, made headlines in 2010 for a horrific crime. He was convicted of attempted murder after stabbing his ex-girlfriend over 20 times in a fit of rage. It's hard to even imagine the violence of that moment, the terror she must have felt. Mallow was sentenced to 12 years in prison, but the damage was already done. I think about how his comedic on-screen persona was so drastically different from the real-life horror he caused. It's a stark reminder that appearances can be deceiving and some wounds never heal. Shannon Richardson's case in 2013 felt like something straight out of a movie, but it was all too real. She was convicted of sending ricin-laced letters to then-President Obama and Mayor Bloomberg, an act that could have cost lives. Sentenced to 18 years in prison, her actions weren't just criminal, they were chilling. Looking back, it's clear that she was willing to risk everything for reasons that still baffle me to this day. From movie sets to prison cells, these actors' stories are a reminder that fame doesn't shield anyone from facing the consequences of their actions. Their time behind bars adds a surprising chapter to their public lives, proving that even Hollywood's elite aren't above the law. What do you think about these shocking turns in their careers? Share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the world of fame and fortune. We hope to see you in our next video.